you to tell them I'm glad I don't have to call. You got something to lean on. Yeah. 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 Joseph Steelwell, and even that young lady she's whispering to right now, Linda Kirkland, was in that class with Dr. Gary Williams, and Gary would say, I know better. to be splitting verbs and putting nouns and pronouns out of place. He said, well, but I just got to say it. It may not be right and proper, but ain't God good? <laughs> Excuse me, Dr. Willis, I, I just don't know other way to say it. And he's screaming again, ain't God good? My, my, my. There is a stillness in the house. for holding the doors and stealing the people we go to God in prayer. We turn in the blessed to God. We're, we're grateful for this opportunity that God has afforded us again. We now ask Heavenly Father that the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Mm. And my prayer. friends, loved ones, visitors, and members of the greater Beulah Church. As always, that God will place me in a spiritual realm where I can be used by him. And then I always ask God if he would, hallelujah, help me choir, spirit of the true but living God. Since we deal in the Trinity, Spirit, call and choir of the true but living God. Now fall fresh. Fall fresh on me. I know that I elevated to somebody. And Lord, I'm not done. Would you do this for me? Would you hide me today? Say this bad. The word will come forth. Not only hide me, but power, mold me today. Quiet. And then, Father God, fill me with that spirit. Yeah, God. So it is evident that you are in the house. 
Oh, Spirit <laughs> of the true but living God, now Master. Yeah, yeah. All fresh. stay in there. I had to come out twice because the spirit was so strong in this house. The choir, the participation, you, God's people, the warm, warm spirit is overwhelming. The visitation, Chairwoman Paula Wright and Councilman Dennis Gary, his staff and those that were with him, and then someone who I have not officially met, but I feel as if I have sister, Diane Green, superintendent, and brother Green, that in our congregation we pray mightily. Oh my God, for you. I always refer to her as the woman that God gave me. And then when, after the 40 years, when we have a difference, I say, you know, that's your creation. <laughs> sometimes stubborn, sometimes go along, basically just to get along with me. I affectionately call her Patricia. <laughs> well, Tommy Lou, that's the baby girl. Hallelujah. To all of my ministers, the men and women that it takes to make up this great church, you know, lovely wise. And let me just do this right here. I do know proper protocol. I think I've established most of it. I'm not going to get country today, even though I can't help it, because I, my folk come out of South Carolina. So I got to tell you that I'm country already. I have milk cows, I have rum chicken eggs, and, and I hate a lot of chicken. I don't say anything to that, Carlos. I hate a lot of chicken. But I just want to say and salute after 40 years, Sister Michelle Baum, and congratulate her on her retirement. I tried to stay 30 at JEA, but I admire you and Dr. Willis, Patricia, and all others that have stayed the gamut of the 40 years and plus. 35 and 40. If I may say it this way, those people made me get out of there. <laughs> Won't they get on your nerve? My last nerve. Let me say to you this morning that the word has already been read. Again, I want to thank you to the Shallow family, Connecting families, and all of those of you Let's just say Sister Emma Shadow's family. They swarm the blues over there. Brothers and sisters, there's a word today that comes out of 10th chapter. Romans, and it talks about a very strong connecting words that I would like to speak to you about today. Your amens are solicited and Amen. we can get through this and as I always say, I don't have a problem. Preaching is something that I love to do. Dr. Green, both Dr. Greens, we can get out of here in about 15 minutes and in our collaboration and even without a celebrating. And if your amens are not in place, Amen. and I don't think them, we can stay here until about 4.15 today. <laughs> Amen. visitors from my 
my congregation. They're in the habit of rushing me. Gather your thoughts and look at with me, if you will. The eighth verse in that tenth chapter. The question is before you, but what said it? The word is not. Thee, even into thy mouth and in thy heart, that is the word of faith. Preachers, which we preach. That if I confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shall be saved. Hallelujah. I want to stay right there. Put a pen in that verse. I want to talk to you for a few moments on the the subject that God has placed before me for this family and friend day. This is something that you must do in order to gain eternal life. I want to speak to you just for a moment on confessing to the Lord. You think maybe that'll preach? Confessing to the Lord. So, Pastor Willis, in our confession, or if you say, Confess. I hear some of you asking, so what is confession? Well, Webster talks about confession, and it says that it's when you admit, and I'm on your street already, when you admit it, you can own up or declare your guilt, even before you go to an appointed court where the lady or the junk, the judge, comes before you and asks you and they swear you in and you put your right